17 inch walleye all day long. Racking them and stacking them. Fish jumping all over. They're jumping in the boat today. Load it up. <laughs> oh, man. How's it going? Thanks. Okay. Thank you. You too. Busy place today. Well, we got crawlers, minnows, about six guys. Yeah, that's actually a really nice fish right there. Closer to 20. Three fish and like, if I was a good fisherman, we'd have three fish in three minutes, but <laughs> it took 15 minutes to turn around. <laughs> Came off. Look good. Look good, Joel. <laughs> got your worm. Good thing I got more crawlers. <sighs> I got one too. But... See if I can keep them on though. Got Rhonda's line. Oh. oh, he's got my line? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he didn't get a fish? 
Oh, <laughs> and my life. Okay. Oops, sorry. I thought we had two fish on. You're, you're fine. <sighs> Just gonna do the uh, the walleye dance here. That's an eater, I guess. It's an eater because we'll be eating it. Now we can reel up again and we'll go back through there. I think we found a good spot. It's actually productive already. Four fish in there. Four. Right? You're the inventory guy, right? <laughs> you catch them all count. <laughs> okay, we can drop them. Back in the strike zone. Oh, you got a fish. <laughs> Joel's got a fish. There's a fish jumping right there, too. Oh, yeah. Smallest one of the day. That's right. That's, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> I think it's an eater, though. I think that's as small as it is. I think it's still eater, eater quality, don't you think? Might as well. It's your first first fish of the day. You gotta kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, going through the strike zone again. Three nice fish, three nice marks. Hopefully that's not an actual rainstorm coming here. Yeah, I know that's what I'm Because I don't really have rain gear. So where are we? Are we in the? I mean, there's something there. Are we in the? I don't know. I guess I don't know where we're at. It's gonna miss us if we're far enough down. Should say north. Okay. It's not the end of the world if we get wet, but it just doesn't make it all that enjoyable. To... <laughs> no. You got one. Yeah. Nice. Put the tip of the rod out there, away from the boat a little more. There you go. Nice fish. I guess so. That's a really nice one. Reel it up. We're gonna turn around. You get one too? Nice. Yeah, not a keeper, I guess. No, this is perfect. But it is only 9 o'clock in the morning still. So Rhonda's got three already, huh? No, just two. Oh, really? They're just the like biggest two. ones in there. Yeah, they are big. <laughs> Definitely. So it's almost like three. Yeah. That's for sure. Here we go. There's some more fish right here. You got one, didn't you? You sure did. Wow. Takes like every Point strength. the rod tip out to your, your left there. there you go. <laughs> All the strength I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just lift her over the boat. <laughs> and he's a baby. There you go. <sighs> she says it takes her all the strength she has. <laughs> 12 inches, it'll be fine. 
Let's get another one. Grab another minnow too. Let's put two on. They're feisty. They're mean little animals. Yeah, here we go. We're, there's fish coming up here. It's a good, it's a good school right here. Man, if we don't get another one here, you got one? I don't know if it's on. I don't know. They sometimes nibble on that. Yeah, I know. Fine. It might just be nibbling. I don't know if it's on here. I just want to check so we don't swallow the hook. No, still. No. There you go. You're feeling it. Whoa. He's got a silent fish over here. <laughs> He's just quietly reeling in a nice one. Yeah. Racking them and stacking them. Whoa, look at Nigel's coming in closer for a look. Yeah, it's a perfect wind actually. Pretty comfy up there. Yeah. Looks like it works pretty good actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd lean backwards too far. <laughs> right. Up in the lake. <laughs> yeah, I can swim. I'm a little upset they changed the uh, fruit smoothies from strawberry to mango. Mm, yeah. I like mango though, but not the Costco mango. No. It's terrible. One thing I loved about Hawaii is like all the tropical fruit stuff. Like, oh my gosh, so good. Guava. We drank so much guava juice, I can't even tell you. Wow. Just, you know, it's just different and fun. And we went and scoped out the Costco there and like Target and stuff and Walmart just to kind of... Feel like you're back on the mainland? No, just because... Um, I wanted to get like macadamia nuts and stuff, mm. and they're way cheaper there and all over the place versus like of a little shop across from a hotel. I bought a 12 pack of the macadamia nuts, the chocolate covered ones. Mm -hmm. So it's a 12 pack of bo basically 12 boxes. They were $71, and then I ended up paying $44 at Costco. Wow. So you brought a whole suitcase full of stuff from Costco in Hawaii, huh? Yeah? <laughs> two two carry-ons full of macadamia nuts and coffee. Oh, there's lightning. <laughs> wow, all of a sudden there's no wind at all. Is this the calm before the storm? I think we're probably just on the edge of that system, so we're getting a little wind, but now it's moving off. Yeah. Kind of miss the wind already. It's gonna get hot <laughs> pretty fast. It's 74 in the air and 73 in the water. We're gonna turn around in about 250 feet. We can't make it past if I catch him on so I know it's this will be the first time I think <laughs> if it happens. Oh man. Here we go. Big fish coming up. They are stacked in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six nice marks. Get your trigger finger ready. Got one of them. Surprised you guys didn't get one. I'm really surprised. This one's more like a Rhonda fish. Mm -hmm. I think Man. so. <laughs> I don't know, I did catch the two biggest fish all day, so. You got fish jumping. Jumping on them. I guess it's not quite as big as Rhonda's fish, but it's still an eater. Still the eating variety. You got one? Did you get one? Mm -hmm. 
Need a net? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess so. And this one chomped it. I'm gonna measure it. See what kind of things we're getting here. 16 inches. So you did do inventory and there's 10? <laughs> uh, I haven't done that. <laughs> Is there 10? I'm surprised. Wow, they didn't go for it, baby. Sharp shooting walleyes. <laughs> Not exactly a tank, but they sure look bigger on the screen. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, now they're over there. So that's straight out there. It would be over here somewhere. Oh, there's a fish under you. Well, they don't usually hit it when you're pulling it. Oh, that's a nice one there. Got him right in the belly. <laughs> you could sit here all day and do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. It's about time. <laughs> I knew it was just a matter of time. Is it worth actually getting a net for? Nah. I don't want to tangle it up. Just don't get a hook in here. And there. There you go. It's a good one. On the jigging wrap. Are you satisfied with your two minnows or feel like you want to go back to one minnow or something else? I don't know. I don't seem to be doing much. Will fish bite them if they're dead? Yeah. They're just going for the spinning action. And... All right. That's probably okay. I mean, it's like a tube for one buffet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the plastic's dead, so all I care about is <laughs> yeah, <I suppose. laughs> something that smells weird and has spinning action on it. So how do you cook your fish, Randy? Um, I like, the, my favorite is in the deep fryer. Mm -hmm. Like, What do you use to coat it? Shore Lunch beer batter with yeah. line, of, line of Kugel's beer. We it's got um, the summer shandy. I think everyone's favorite is uh, we take shore lunch, Cajun shore lunch, mix it half and half with plain or regular shore lunch. Okay. And then they've been just, you know, rinsing the fish off and throwing it in the shore lunch and then throwing it in the pan so they don't like add, like, they don't like, you know, do like an egg wash or anything like that. Mm. We like to make fish tacos too, so we'll cook it that way and then I'll make like a cilantro lime coleslaw. Oh, yeah. And like mango salsa and pico and and drop it and uh, get those small walking taco soft shells that's really good I actually boiled them one time that was okay cat didn't like it but <laughs> boiled it in sprite oh yeah and then just eat it straight out of the yeah I mean really just didn't do any coating or anything just boiled the walleye here we go here comes the strike zone it's like they haven't moved much. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's some sort of bait, yeah. There could be fish under it too, but are they dead? Well, there's a lot of dead ones. That's one, I'll have to get you another one. 
Thanks. But I feel like a lot of the men are dead. It's possible. The big ones. Oh, you got one. Excellent. Decent. Here's a here's a dead one and a live one. Thanks. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Joel just got the nicest one of the day. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'd say. I guess we just keep maintaining what we're doing. <laughs> Because so far we've gone through here, we haven't missed a fish yet. That's the best one yet. 20, yeah, I guess it's 20-ish. Nice. Don't let it jump back in. <laughs> <laughs> you lost that fish, I had to be so mad. <laughs> yeah, they are. They just did something. <laughs> you got one, huh? I'd say so. <laughs> so don't rock the boat. <laughs> oh, you got a nice one too. Heck yeah. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> you want an ear full of... <laughs> You're throwing bait at you. The minnows flew off the thing. Oh, no more minnows left. Yeah, that's, that one. that's an eater. It's still nice. It's excellent. I guess those two minnows are okay. Yeah, minnows are still good. It's so crazy. Here. I threw them overboard. No. Yeah, no, that's fine. I threw the dead one overboard because it was missing a tail. Put two of them on there. You can put one, the dead one and one of the live ones on there. Just a lot of excitement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more exciting when you drop the fish in the boat and it almost jumps out. <laughs> that, was, that was some good dramatic effect right there. <laughs> Playing up for the camera. Mark. Yeah. They're jumping in the boat today. It's kind of interesting. We're all using three different things. It doesn't seem to make a difference. The minnows caught the biggest fish mm -hmm. today. Or Rhonda's touch. I don't know. <laughs> fish on? Not big. Mm. Eater. Close to eater. I mean, you could be choosy if you want. It's eater. They pretty much stayed in the same spot too. They haven't really moved. We're just racking them and stacking them. <laughs> That's like every pass through this school. And I got it on a recorded track so I don't have to have any human error. That's the beauty of it. If you can just record a track through a whole mess of them. What's it gonna be? The gulp, I guess. Oh, it was almost there. Oh, it is there. It's there. It is there. It's a good eater again. Another eating fish. Huh. 
16 and three quarters. Ooh, almost touching 17. <laughs> 17 inch walleye all day long. That's it. That's all she wrote on one gulp. Only had to use one of these all day. That's awesome, man. That's like golfing and not losing your ball. Like going a whole round. You wanna take those off the hook? <laughs> Suffer to drive with a box full of fish. And now the real work begins. Rhonda cleaning fish. <laughs> Never thought you'd be on a riverboat cruise, huh? Jet boat?